Hello and welcome back to Operation Void. I'm your host, Forgotten Void, and this week we will be showcasing the Brandenburg. Now, this is mostly because in Narai, that we will be showcasing later, in Narai I have seen a lot of battleships just hanging back, and I want to show what happens and how to work with uh, being the sole battleship up front and how tanking. And the Brandenburg, one thing about it, it's not that tanky. It's only 58,000 hit points. Whereas if you go to, oh, let's go tier 8, Battleship German. Go to the Bismarck, you have 69,000. The Zeiten is 62,000. So you're you're on the squishier end of the... Um, well, I guess the Zeiten is squishy because it doesn't have the best armor. Bismarck is Bismarck and Turpets are going to be have they have more HP another extra 10k HP in addition to having similar armor scheme as Brandenburg. Brandenburg just has uh, trades 10k HP for an extra set or so of secondary guns. So keeping in mind that it's a squish here and that if you have Turpets or Bismarck and you're going to be um, you're going to have more HP. This is how a you can go through Narai tanking alone. Uh, quickly, the skills we have on uh, your basic skills for a secondary battleship. Uh, this can either be propulsion or damage control. I choose damage control to keep because you are going to be set on fire. You're going to be close enough that you are going to be set on fire that propulsion doesn't really change. Propulsion helps if you're going to be long range whereas damage control is more for brawling. And this is also for risk of fire. Uh, main battery or auxiliary. We have main battery for the torpedoes. For Bismarck, I'd probably do auxiliary, but because torpedoes get knocked out, this is try and keep the torpedoes in as much as possible without going for a torpedo mod skill, as you want those secondaries. The skills, this is... Uh, this is, Luchens is for Schlieffen, and so this is the Schlieffen skill set that I have set up. Uh, the Inertial Fuse for HE, they are for the 105mm. So it works with Brandenburg, it works with Turpitz, it works with uh, uh, Bismarck because of the. they all have the 105mm, and this gets you up to 32mm of penetration. In Narai, that really just means uh, penning... Uh, everywhere on Missouri. Otherwise, for others, it's for your tier 8, tier 9, tier 10 um, battleships pending most places there. Uh, and so everything else is your standard for brawling. Uh, I don't do emergency repair expert even for Schlieffen because the whole point is to not have to use them to kill everything faster. We have fire prevention because that's necessary for reducing the number of fires. And concealment expert brings you in closer, and this lets you choose your battles, especially with Schlieffen, where this gets your secondary range and your concealment range to about the same. Uh, we have healing because that's necessary. Reduce again, reducing the fire duration and. A little bit more for the secondaries because that is a large part of your damage. So with that, oh, we will go ahead and go into... Okay, so here we are. We're going to battle. We already put up to full. We're looking at our team to see our lineup real quick. Uh, which, as you have, we have a Turpitz. See who's going where. We have a Lexington. Yay. We have a Lexington to provide Lexington on Lexington action. No, not really. Um, if you're in a carry, you should not be going there. It's probably going to be going after the um, mm, mm, transports of anything. If you see a carrier, that's what generally what they'll do. And now that's an Akizuki, so it may have already used its torpedo reload booster. Oh look, Kagero used its torpedo reload booster. Mm, 
And so we're going to go ahead and put a salvo into Mio to get a little bit of damage because I was expecting uh, the uh, destroyers there that both have torpedo reload booster to uh, <laughs> delete the New York. Did it happen? Uh, instead, uh, no, Nicholas got deleted. Yay? Oh, yay, our um, secondaries took out the uh, fort. <clears throat> so normally as a battleship, you should generally throw off on the uh, New York and not that, but given our circumstances, that's why we went for the meal. And we got nine over Penzon the Leander. We have a smaller caliber of gun, which is why I was hoping to get citadels on the Leander. Smaller caliber and a lower pen, because they are 305s rather than uh, the larger guns. Or they're a low caliber battleship gun, but we didn't get any citadels. And so we have our secondaries focusing on the uh, Queen Elizabeth, because at this angle we're not really going to do much with uh, our main battery gun. And so we let it burn, the fire burn a little bit to, so that our uh, DCP would be running and that the uh, destroyer would not be able to set another fire. This, see, it only did about, uh, okay, it did about 5,000 damage, of which we can heal back 3,000. Oh no, the ship itself did 5,000, the fire only did about uh, 3,000 damage. So we're pushing the Akazuki out of the way because we need to get into a uh, brawling position for the uh, Missouri. We are already thinking about the Missouri. And also, by going in this angle, I have secondaries off on the Lagal, the Leander, the uh, uh, and the uh, Dallas. And this helps with our Luchins get the uh the skill off so if you have more secondaries running you're going to get more hits and so that's my whole angling here was actually to get as many secondaries off on both sides as possible and there we go with six uh, full pens we were able to finish off the Leander, make sure it's... Uh, torpedoes are not a threat. And so in this case, because we're so far it up and all the cruisers got killed very quickly, thankfully, all, our, all the enemies can, well, all our allies can focus on the Missouri. Especially with the carrier um, to mostly focusing on the... Uh, transports and by being right here in front I'm just gonna take a shot at the Lexington because we can't shoot at the Missouri anyways but by being here in front the Missouri is targeting us us alone and this allows all of our allies to shoot at the Missouri as much as they want and without worry of hiding because it's looking at us. So here, you can have a choice. You can either stop at the uh, harbor, or you can push it. We are pushing it. Because we don't want the um, destroyers to get a surprise phase specifically the wakeful we want to be able to uh, get that and as you see the um I have a mod I have started using mods again and the mod tells me when my heal is ready with a nice flashing circle it tells me when I have the maximum available use for the heal and it will do that on two cases when the maximum use for the heal is um, 
available or when the heal comes up and it's uh, at the maximum use. As you can see, we are now torpedoless. Because we are being uh, bombarded on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and try for this. Uh, there we go. We got the Cleveland mostly down. The Farragut is down. The Omaha is slinging armor piercing at us. Thankfully, we only have the one fire. There goes the Cleveland. As you see, by going in against an Omaha, a Cleveland, and yeah, mostly just the Omaha and the Cleveland. That's where all of the damage came from. They're two very, very, very high DPM cruisers. And so we're going back to get the heal. And, we're, and see, now that the Tirpitz has arrived, we are going back and letting the Tirpitz... Uh, tank and so by forcing the turpits to be front see the heel just came off cooldown and it got the circle but uh, it took me a little bit to activate the heel so now I'm deciding since the heel is back and we still have uh, we'll have two more heels after that might as well uh, turn around and go back into the fight rather than going back to the heel circle And by going in early, we took out the Omaha before the um, carrier group had to take care of it. We took out the Nicholas before the carrier group had to deal with it. So that helped whoever was going after the carrier. We took out the uh, Wakeful before it could uh, t go in and take care of any our, uh, well, take out any of the transports. And we also went in and took out the Cleveland before it could shoot at any of the the in uh, transports and by triggering the uh, the wave a little bit early before the uh, transports are even in the harbor you have the you trigger your allies you literally trigger your allies because they want damage that's what they came here and they if they see red boats they will go to where the red boats are when there is nothing on the board is the most dangerous time when solo queuing because your allies won't know what to do they won't know where to go they won't know what to do so they'll crowd around whatever transport or whatnot is moving waiting for red boats if they see red boats then they will go f to the red boats as you see our turpits is finally uh going up and right there and the uh pozorski uh, is going up uh, closer than he normally should because it's a long-range armor-piercing spammer from smoke. That's what it should be doing. And so after hanging back and healing back a little bit, we are going moving back up since we have let the turpits be so gracious as to be our... Uh, armor for a little while and now you have our destroyers going in and torping things the Pozarski po is going in and we are down to the Colorado and so by going in and triggering everything early you have brought the team to where they need to be and also taken all the damage in the beginning so that they didn't really take any damage and so they had the they would be feel brave enough to go in against the uh, enemy waves because if they take damage at the beginning then they don't want to they just want to hug the heal circle but if you take all the damage in the beginning then they are brave enough to go in because they are full HP and most people don't like their boats getting scratched for some reason so that uh, is how you direct the flow of battle. Sure, it's not you're not going to get 
the most damage we only got 273k but we directed the flow of battle so that we could get a sea star the only thing that we didn't affect were the transports but generally people are going after the transports anyways otherwise we have directed the flow of battle to make sure that the transports because there are three stars tied to the transports in Nirai. Three stars. That's 30% additional uh, rewards if you win. That's all tied to the transports. So by protecting the transports and going up early and directing the flow of battle, we were able to help all, not only protect those three stars, but help with the carrier to get that star. So we we're in position to help for four stars. This also just so happens to have put us on top of the board with our eight kills. Uh, as we're there, and like the Cleveland. We, we did pretty much everything to the Cleveland, all the damage. That might be all that. Missouri, we did about half of the damage. Uh, and then the others were just doing a little bit of art. Oh, the Wakeful, that's all the damage of the Wakeful. Most of the damage on the Farragut. Most of the damage on the uh, the Mahan. Uh, nice 10. We had 11k salvo on the uh, uh, Lexington. Otherwise, a little bit of secondaries. But otherwise, yeah, we're just, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. And that gets us top. And see our secondary battery did more damage than our main battery. And that is what happens when you are in brawling distance and uh, you don't get any citadels with your main guns. But yes, when you're getting hitting in brawling damage, you have 561 main battery hits for some, about 25% accuracy. 20%? 20, 20, 25? And of course, uh, we were running blues, so we have a million credits of profit, a uh, good 7,000 free XP, and 28,000. Uh, since we have a 21-point captain, all of that goes to uh, Elite Commander experience. So with that, that is running Brandenburg in the front lines, or any brawling battleship in the front lines if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down if you want to watch more go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already i do however hope to see you again next week have a good one